He wants an apology. Do we owe her an apology? Hi guys, this is Kimani and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you for subscribing. Um, so I was on TikTok and I saw Candice post a video where she said that Black Americans and Black people who her an apology because of the Black Lives Matter scandal and how she is basically going to expose the organization as a scam. And I really want to hear the opinions of others and see if other persons agree that the organization was a scam and what they have to say about Candice Owen getting an apology because really and truly I don't know much about Candice. I know that she's a commentator. I know that there's a lot of mixed feelings and views as it relates to her. So we're gonna get into this and we're gonna discuss it if she is owed an apology or if she needs to kick rocks and go somewhere. So well, let's go. Black Lives Matter released their 990 IRS filings. They collected $80 million. Where is that money? It's not here. Everything looks worse than it was. Where have you seen that money impacted throughout the city? <laughs> so my producer just sent me a link. It is just shocking to me because of how much money was raised to think that where he lived, the bills weren't being covered. Super frustrating, but that's a dead end, so. And here's where it gets really interesting. Ready for some BLM pride? Another 200K went to escorts, BDSM workers, strippers, peep show workers, phone sex operators, and webcam performers. And then at that moment, it became personal. And I thought, not only am I going to say the truth, <laughs> I am going to scream the truth louder than you can scream the lies. That it's incredible that the majority of the world hasn't seen this. BLM is a scam Don't operation. Worry. I'm going to keep this quick. But Black America, you owe me an apology. And I want my apology. Okay? Because, you know, that was a long couple of years. If you guys calling me a, a race traitor because I refused to be an idiot and I was obviously recognizing the scam that was Black Lives Matter... I was obviously able to discern that they were using the faces of dead black people to get you guys to run around, act like fools, get your sons and daughters arrested in protests, wearing signs, painting streets, BLM, BLM, not realizing this is free marketing. This is how marketing works in business. Everybody ran around to be a billboard for Black Lives Matter. They got white people, you owe me an apology too, white liberals running around with their guilt, opening their wallets, bending down. <laughs> to Black Lives Matter, and nobody asked the question about where all the money was going. If you guys did not recognize that it was a corporate scam, how do you think they got the NBA on board so quickly, the NFL on board so quickly? How do you think they, they, were, they managed to transform America so quickly with politicians demanding that there was Black Lives Matter squares and Black Lives Matter signs? I mean, you were looking at a business that was being built very quickly around a suspicious time, election time, when the riots seemed to keep happening. Black Lives Matter. They were telling you COVID didn't matter. Protesting was more important. Anybody with common sense knew that this was a money laundering operation. Anybody with common sense knew that Black Lives Matter was raising money for something other than black people. You're looking around, there was no headquarters. There was no intent to say they were gonna build a school, that they were going to give out scholarships to black people. There was nothing that was done other than demanding your allegiance. And some of you guys, a lot of you guys got on board and got angry at Candace Owens and other people too, who were telling you that this was a scam. You called me so many racist names and said that I betrayed my race when in reality, 
you were betraying your intelligence. You were too emotional to see what was obvious and right in front of you. So now the narrative's cracking. Patrice Cullors got $3 million in homes separately. These other three people they bought is just now a $6 million house. That's $9 million. There was some house that was announced in Canada that she bought for her girlfriend. Okay, that's totaling around, let's call that $12 million. Here's the, here's the best part. You're not done finding out. This is, this, is, this is nothing, okay? Black Lives Matter announced that they raised over $90 million, okay? They were funded. They were bust. All of this stuff was paid for by white Democratic operatives, right? Where's the rest of the money? They're getting you focused to look at the three black people, but those people are at the bottom of the organization, okay? These people were just dogs that were willing to betray their race, were willing to let black people get arrested, were willing to allow, you know, black Americans to riot in the streets for these young kids to get records. They didn't care, right? Those were just your average day hustlers, these three women, right? These three black women were just your your regular day of scam artists, right? Like, that's just the stuff that you see. How do you guys ever recognize scam artists? They're at the bottom. Who's at the top? That's the question you should be asking yourself. It's not going to be a black person. It's going to be white people, right? Because it's only white people. It could only be a white person that is sitting at the top when you looked at who was pouring cash initially into Black Lives Matter, right? I kept telling you it was using black faces as a front and they were raising a bunch of money. It's going to be a white person, right? They said they raised over $90 million. So far, we've accounted about 10, 11, maybe $12 million that has been scammed from you guys. Where's the rest of the money? Okay? Ask yourself that question. Start. Maybe it's time to look into all of the charities that said that they were backing Black Lives Matter when they were lying, saying that they were 501c3. They were never a charity. Black Lives Matter Global Network was never a charity. But you had, what was it called, Thousand Currents, which had some old school Clinton operatives that were running it. And I was telling you guys that this was a scam and that it was political and that nobody that was sitting on a stage screaming about black lives cared about black lives whatsoever. Now, you attacked me. I want my apology. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm going to say here is you owe me an apology and I'm going to get it. And by the way, I'm going to forgive you because I'm a good person, right? I'm a good person. He was like, oh, Candace, uh, I don't like the way you say it. Even if you're saying the truth, I don't like the way you say it. Well, do you like the way you got scammed? Did you like the way you got scammed? Was that better to hear the lie that made you feel better? Did you, did you like the scam? You got hustled. Admit it. You, you didn't know what you were talking about. You didn't understand the game of politics and you got hustled. All of you. Maybe it's time now to check all of those celebrities, those, oh, I'm with black people, celebrities, oh, I'm with them, oh, so I'm going to tell them that I support Black Lives Matter. Maybe it's time to go to them and ask them why they refuse to air the truth because they knew, okay? These people were in my DMs, all your favorite rappers, basketball players were in my DMs saying, yeah, we know that something's weird here, but if I say anything, I'll get attacked. All of this crap. They didn't have the nerve to tell you what they knew was painfully true. Maybe it's time to check your idols now, right? All of those hip-hop artists and rappers and the people that you listen to who told you to follow this scam to the end. Maybe it's time to check yourself and realize that you're following a bunch of people who lie to you all the time. Your life is not getting any better because you're following lies. Maybe it's time to stop attacking black conservatives who have been trying to inform you on this. There might be something that we know. I wrote a whole chapter on the scam that is Black Lives Matter in my book. But I'm a race trader, right? I'm a race trader. Okay, well, this race trader wants her apology. So drop it in the comments. I'm going to forgive you. I'm a good person. I'm a Christian woman. I'm going to forgive you. But I want my apology. Thank you, Black America. Black Lives Matter stole your money, ruin your community, help defund the police, then purchase million dollar mansions with your donation money. You know, sometimes you never think justice is gonna be served, but this one kinda sweet. <laughs> A BLM related activist and her husband just got caught using thousands of unearned dollars on their personal lives. It looks like they're going from being some big fish in a little pond 
just being kind of big. Right now, it looks like the rap sheet's pretty long, with things including wire fraud, conspiracy, and lying about mortgage statements. And if you remember all those checks going out during COVID, yeah, they, they, they took some of that money too. And yes, while stealing all that money is wrong, I feel like the biggest crime was to themselves, having spent all this money on Shake Shack, Bubba Gump Shrimp, and apparently countless other restaurants. Instead of bettering themselves the gym membership, they kind of just let their bank accounts get bloated. Let this be a lesson to put your money where your mouth is unless you want to be a big time bust. I, I feel vindicated because two years ago I said that this organization was a disingenuous scam and it has proven itself to be a disingenuous scam. The Black Lives Matter organization, this foundation in the USA, is a grift. They have received millions upon millions of dollars, I believe over a hundred million dollars um, over the, I think just in 2020, it was, it was close to a hundred million. So this organization has been capitalizing off of unfortunate deaths and tragedies and guilt tripping people to send them lots of money and donations, which I believe most people think is going to go to a good cause. And instead, they are paying themselves six and seven figure salaries. They're flying around in private jets. They bought a six million dollar mansion. Um, they've got over, I think, what was it? It's written here. They have, I think, they invested 32 million dollars in stocks in 2020 with donation money. So this is an outright scam. So when we talk about Black Lives Matter, it's important to note that this is a semantically overloaded phrase intentionally. It refers to at least three different things. There is the statement, the basic phrase, Black Lives Matter. Mm -hmm. Everybody agrees, every decent human being around the world across the political spectrum agrees that Black Lives Matter because all human lives matter and should be treated with respect and dignity. Mm -hmm. Number two is the organization or organizations. I think in the USA, this one we're referring to is the primary Black Lives Matter organization. And a lot of people don't know that there is an organization with founders, with people who are receiving the money. It's a nonprofit and they've been raking it in. They've been raking, raking in the money over the past few years. And as we've seen here, they have been spending it on enriching themselves. And it's, it's essentially money, money laundering. I think what they've done here is most likely illegal. Yeah, so I have to say that they would say in their own defense that they've mm -hmm. not done anything wrong. <laughs> well, you mean anyone can look at these articles and uh, I'm not going to... I mean, these numbers here paid the baby father $970,000 for creative services, paid the brother the $840,000 for security. Fellow director was got $2.1 million. This is all just in this is all just in one year. I'm going to play this clip because I realize a lot of people feel like this. Also, thanks for the love. You always show love. Appreciate it. You have an ounce of respect for anybody claiming Black Lives Matter at this point when they don't give a flying flip about black police officers. They don't care about black conservatives. They care nothing about black people in the hood. They don't even raise money for people in the hood. They don't care about black men who are out here doing the right thing that need, need a hand up, that need help out. How many businesses have they gave these Billions of dollars too. How many black businesses have they sustained during the, during the shutdown? None. How much money went to George Floyd's family that they raised after his death? None. How many went to any of these people? They have done nothing but sit around and bash people as a racist, domestic, terrorist organization. That's how I look at them. If you don't want people to not like you, get your stuff together and start supporting people in this country or shut your freaking mouth. BLM co-founder Patrice Cullors is triggered at charity transparency laws after, of course, her $6 million mansion was exposed. Cullors says that she found it triggering, of course, we know that means emotionally compromising, when she hears about financial documents being made public. The fact that financial documents have to be made public triggers BLM co-founders. The same co-founder that, once again, used $6 million from BLM to buy herself a mansion. If we go back to the article's title, we can see where BLM tweeted that they apologize for any distress that it may cause supporters of BLM. And they also say that there has been confusion because of inflammatory and speculative articles. Here's the truth. 
BLM capitalized on the death of George Floyd and played on your emotions to get you to send money to their organization in order to enrich themselves and fatten their own pockets. BLM does obviously not care about the black community. So if black lives really mattered, then the black people within the Black Lives Matter organization will be going into these different communities and putting the money to better the schools, the education, whatever it may be. And so I asked this question, what has Black Lives Matter done for black communities? What have they done? I've tried researching, I can't find anything. The only thing I'm finding is that money has been donated to them and, and they have brought awareness. Man, awareness been around. Everything was a war whenever freaking Trayvon Martin got killed and it wasn't even by a cop. It was by a random dude. And the cell phones introduced more awareness and then the media start pushing all this stuff. So somebody please answer, what has Black Lives Matter done? I mean, if we look at the Black Panther Party, the Black Panther Party show people how to cook. They show people how to do their food. They show people how to defend themselves. They show people how to shoot. They educated people. This is how you make the impact into the black community, not just out there protesting and marching and putting a hashtag on freaking Facebook. Kanye West is one of the best examples of reactionary politics in America, especially black America. Him standing next to Candace Owens in those White Lives Matters t-shirts just further proves that point. See, most of us already acknowledge that Democrats ain't shit. Personally speaking, I think the Democrats are worse than Republicans because they literally sit up there and lie to you. They'll tell you that you're a country of immigrants while deporting more immigrants than any Republican president. They'll tell you they'll defund the police while funding the police more than any Republican president. But this isn't making me a Republican. It's the same with Black Lives Matter. You can acknowledge that it was a grift at the same time, not jumping to say white lives matter. There's a select group of black people who swear they're smarter than the rest of the community simply by being contrarian, and it's embarrassing. So Kanye West just truly broke the brains of every BLM and woke activist in America by wearing this sweatshirt with Candace Owens. How dare this black man, an iconic rapper, wear a shirt that says white lives matter and say that BLM was a scam? But here's the thing, these woke activists are more angry about this picture than the fact that Kanye is exactly right. BLM has turned out to be one of the biggest scams of all time. During the summer of 2020, we had a supposed racial reckoning in America. Mostly minority communities were burned to the ground by riots consisting of mostly white people. It resulted in some of the most expensive property damage in insurance history. And the organization at the center of it, Black Lives Matter, raised over $60 million. What exactly did the people who run that organization do with that money? Well, they used it to enrich themselves. Local BLM chapters would allege that the national arm of the organization provided no financial transparency into where the millions the group raised had gone. The founder of the organization, Patrice Cullors, would soon after resign after it was revealed she bought herself four mansions around the country. Patrice Cullors also funneled millions of dollars from the organization to a company run by the father of her child. They also secretly bought a $6 million house in Los Angeles with donor money. The BLM organization also blew over $12 million of the money they raised on lawyers and consultants. In addition to being a giant grift, cities all across America have been setting records for violent crimes since the summer of 2020. A main reason for this is because BLM advocated for defunding the police. They also advocated for other policies that hurt a lot of people, such as breaking apart families. And has this organization actually done anything to help race relations in America? No, they've arguably made it worse, which is probably why support for it is decreasing among all demographics. So to sum up, you have this organization, BLM, that was founded by self-described trained Marxists. They raised over $60 million off of racial tensions in America getting worse as communities, mostly minority, were burning across America. They used that $60 million to enrich themselves while advocating for policies that hurt everybody. And yet these woke internet activists are more angry at Kanye for wearing this sweatshirt than the fact that the organization and the movement that they've built has been exposed as a giant grift. 
If you gave this organization your money, it was the equivalent to clicking on one of those Nigerian prince email scams. A Black Lives Matter activist and her husband were both indicted on federal charges for scamming donations. How many more of these stories are we going to have to see or read about until we realize and come to an acceptance as a nation that the Black Lives Matter organization is a criminal organization full of people that will steal your money and do absolutely nothing? They are innocent until proven guilty. I believe in our legal justice system. But these allegations against Monica Cannon Grant and her husband, Clark Grant, are pretty hefty. They've been accused of using these donations to pay for personal expenses, including the rent for their house, shopping, vacations, and car rentals. This wasn't just some, you know, unknown activist that did a few rallies here and there. Monica Cannon Grant was named the best social justice advocate by the Boston Magazine and made Boston Globe's Bostonian of the Year for her work. To be quite honest at this point, I'm not even shocked anymore. I know that there's going to be a lot more of these stories that come through. Osborne agrees with Kanye West and says that Black Lives Matter is a scam. And she wants a refund for the money that she donated to the organization. TMZ caught up with her and asked her a few questions. TMZ asked her thoughts on Kanye's White Lives Matter t-shirt. And Sharon says, I don't understand why white lives don't matter. She says, it's not my thing. It's not my culture. I don't understand any of it. Everybody matters, don't they? TMZ also asked Sharon if she agrees with Kanye's point, and she says, I don't know what Kanye's point is. But she does say that she gave $900,000 to the Black Lives Matter organization and that she'd like her money back. The TMZ reporter also asked Sharon if she thinks that Kanye needs to be canceled, and she said nope. But she emphasizes multiple times that she doesn't really understand Kanye's point, so she can't say if he's evil or not. But she says if you don't like Kanye, then don't follow him on social media and don't listen to his music and let him do what he does. TMZ also asked Sharon what she thinks about Adidas possibly cutting ties with Kanye. And she says they won't do it. They make too much money off of him. You can watch the video on TMZ. And in the meantime, let me know your thoughts down below. I don't want to assume she misusing that money. And I don't want to look at I, it weird. I, 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 don't, I don't want to either. It's not about assuming I don't it, want to either. It's okay to ask for proof. Is it though? Why not? Who else are you asking for them to roll their budget out or roll how they're spending their money out? Me? Yeah. I don't really care. If this is supposed to be for us about us, then why why is that an issue? You want me to care about the other people organizations? Cuz I don't cuz them don't affect me. The Black Lives Matter affects you. It's supposed to, right? Ain't this supposed know, to be for it? us? You said they they for us. They for, at the end of the day, it's about so yeah. So it's what? Not, so what is the me. return on investment you think you want from from them? I just I, what's wrong with wanting to see what they doing with the money? I mean, nothing is wrong with it, but I just don't want to assume that they're doing the wrong thing. Well, it's really mind blowing to me that an organization that was set up to actually help the benefit of black people in America and even the African diaspora is going to scam all of that money, buy houses, buy cars, pay sex workers, and live a life of luxury. I mean, <laughs> the greatest threat to the development and the enhancement of the Black race is not white people, it's not Black people, it's not other groups of individuals, it's other Black people. And I keep on wondering, why is it that we as a race, we can't just be unified and come together for a common cause? Why is it that there always has to be diaspora wars? Why is it there, why is it that there always has to be disunity? Why is it that there always has to be some sort of conflict, some sort of issue that always splits the group further and further apart? I do not see you these issues affecting other communities and other races such as the asian community or such as the white community all right and even if the other races have their own issues and beef it's not as publicized as the issues and the beefs that we have in our own community and it's very saddening because if Candace owen is correct and the black lives matter movement was a scam that means that um, to some extent, she would be owed an apology. Um, as I said before, I do not know much about Candace, 
I do not know her history. I know that a lot of persons hate her. And a lot of persons like her as well. Um, so it's basically like a mixed view that I'm getting because, um, when I scroll and I like, try to find out more about Candice, I see other persons hate the fact that she, um, she just basically said things that the, 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 the public wouldn't like. And, um, they call her a fool, they call her a restrictor, things like that. However, um, for me, a person on the outside looking in, it's very sickening to know that a movement like this is now being tarnished, right? And um, if they really scammed, <laughs> if they really scammed all this money and defunded communities and he funded the police and did all of these things. I mean, may God have mercy on their soul because the amount of karma, the amount of bad luck that these people are going to get in return, I do not want to see it because they will literally have the lives of people and people's tears on their hands. I don't understand. I mean, it's one thing to scam, but scam a movement like this, it, I, I just can't fathom the evil. I, I, I can't fathom. I can't fathom it. I really want like an audit to be done to see if all of these claims are really true like i don't want to hear it from candace i want to hear it from somebody else it sounds weird but i don't know maybe because like the source or where it is coming from it is so tainted because no matter what even if it is true the fact that it's coming from her people are going to look at it from a side eye so i i don't know i think it will be more receptive if it was coming from someone outside of Canada or outside of Canada to say, hey, Black Lives Matter is a scam. Because it's like, it's a situation where it's like, right message, wrong messenger, because Kanye West is seen as an artist, and Candace Owen is seen by Black people as a coon, and as a white man lover, and uh, all sorts of things. Social climber, things like that. Right? Um, another thing that I wanted to mention was the fact that going forward, anything that has to do with the development of Black people and the enhancement of Black people, it's not going to be tarnished and looked at with the side eye of not only Black people, but also, um, people from other ethnicities. And it's not going to be taken seriously at all because they're going to remember Black Lives Matter, what happened with Black Lives Matter. And and when other organizations in the future um try to speak out about the injustices that is happening in the community, it's going to be laughed at. And they're going to use Black Lives Matter as a reference point to say, Hey, well, I'm not going to give to this organization because you remember Black Lives Matter? Ha 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 ha. Yeah. That's the core essence of human nature. As human beings, we barely forgive and we do not forget. And so it, this, like, from somebody on the outside looking in, it makes me sad, right? Because where I'm from in Jamaica, we don't experience racism. We don't experience, um, all the things that Black Americans experience, right? Racism here is not a thing because Black people are the majority and we are the ones that are in power, right? So there is no white cop coming to kill us or there is no white cop coming to beat us or, you know, like, we don't have that stress. However, when we're watching the news and we're seeing on social media that black men are being killed by white police officers and how black people, they're being stereotyped and how um they're terrible things are happening to them we feel it for for black americans because we're like hey you guys are our brothers and sisters right and when the black lives matter movement started 
I believe it, it, it really picked up momentum with the killing of George Floyd and um, other black men in the community and black women who were killed by white officers. And it was a big thing here in Jamaica because we, we ourselves were afraid to go to America. I remember hearing one of my neighbors say that, hey, they don't want to go to America because they don't want to get shot. Because at the end of the day, whether you're Jamaican, Haitian, um, from Barbados or from America, if you're black, you're black. And how is someone going to know if you're Jamaican in America unless you open your mouth and they hear that accent and that dialect? But outside, Jamaicans, black Jamaicans, black Americans, they look the same, right? And I'm pretty sure that if somebody is racist and wants to harm a black individual, they don't care if they're Jamaican or if they're American. So in some ways, we saw the Black Lives Matter movement as an extension to us as well, because if someone from the Caribbean or anywhere in the diaspora decides to go to America, then we're initially taking up that fight with Black Americans as well. So that's why we stood in solidarity with the Black Lives Matter movement and what it stood for and with the whole helping and the development of the Black race because because of slavery and the effects of slavery and living in a post-slavery society and things like that, there's a lot of racism, prejudice, discrimination, and so forth. So we saw this movement as a way of making all of those negative things that, that happen to Black people um, to help make a change, you know, to help say, hey, all lives matter. However, in order for the statements to be true, Black lives have to matter as well. But to know that this movement now has been tarnished, um, it's been tarnished because of the theft of the people who were put in charge and the people who were put in place to govern the funds that to help Black community, these people that were buying houses and cars and mansions and paying for food and it's sickening. It's sickening. It's disheartening. It makes me want to cry because um, now the people who really needed the money, they did not get it. And in the future, when it comes down to helping black people, it's just going to look tarnished when an organization that is reputable, true, and honest for donations, everybody's going to look at it with a side of it. And it's just like, when we take one step forward as a race, we take 10 steps back. And that is what hurts me. That is what really, really, really hurts me as a people, as a black individual. Anyways. And if this documentary comes out this month, I believe it's the 12th of October. That's this Wednesday. Um, I might check it out. Let me know if you're going to check it out. Do you believe that she needs an apology? Um, personally, will I be apologizing to Candice? No, because I haven't said anything bad about her, and I am literally just finding about Candice Owens and who she is. So, I personally won't be giving her an apology for something that I never did. But would you give her an apology as a Black American? Did you say something bad about her? Did you disagree with her when she was, um, speaking out about Black Lives Matter before? all of the scandals and all of the evidence to prove that the organization was a scam came out. Let me know in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts on this video and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Do you want me to do a video review on Candice's documentary? Let me know. Alright guys, bye.